In my last video, I mentioned I would talk about why you need to get good results for your PT3, your SPM, and your STPM. If you've not watched the first video, here's the link and you can watch the first video. Then come on to this video to continue, all right? My name is Mr. Wee and I've been in education for more than 20 years and I'm very passionate about students' academic development and personal development. In this video, I'll talk about why is it important to get good results for your PT3. So if you're in Form 1, if you're in Form 2, and also Form 3, if you're in Form 3 now, you've got to buck up to improve your results for your PT3. Now, why do you need to have good results? Part of the answer is the underlying question of what is your ambition? In the first video, it's goal setting. You need to have a goal. What is your ambition? That is the big picture that you need to have. All right, in my videos, I'll keep asking this question. What is your ambition? Because this is a very important question for you to ask yourself and to remember and keep asking yourself until you have your answer. It will be the guiding force behind your decisions, the decisions that you make in secondary school so if you have an answer to the question what is your ambition excellent great you are on the way to achieving those goals if you do not have an answer it is important and more important for you to get good results because you're still unsure what you want to do now why is it important to get good results in pt3 to be able to understand why this question is important you need to know what happens after you complete your pt3 exam after you complete your pt3 exam the school will have to decide which subjects you will be taking for your form 4 and form 5 which means the subjects that you will be sitting for in your spm now if you do not have a goal if you do not know what your ambition is you've not thought about it if you're lucky you get good results for your science and maths then you go into the science stream if you didn't bother to study you didn't do well in your pt3 you go into the arts stream because it's impossible for you to go into a science class if you don't do well in science so you go into the arts stream just imagine a lot of you are now very interested in computers whether you really are interested in computers and it or you think you are is another question for another day but just let's take this example for a person who likes IT at this point in time in Form 1, in Form 2, in Form 3 you like IT, you like playing games you like maybe creating videos you like to look at websites and see how websites are designed you want to know how the web page is designed you want to know how the games are created this will lead you to do a degree in IT Let's just say you didn't do well for your maths and your science in Form 3, in PT3. The school will decide that you have to go and take either a business stream or into the arts stream. This means you will not be able to take Ad Maths. Why Ad Maths? Because Ad Maths is one of the entry requirements for a student to be able to continue his or her study in IT. So if you're interested in IT, but nobody told you that Ad Maths is important, you don't study, you don't practice your maths, you don't do well in your maths for your PT3, then you don't get to do Ad Maths in Form 4 and Form 5. When you don't do Ad Maths in Form 4 and Form 5, then you will not be able to qualify to study IT in your degree. When you want to study your degree, you cannot study IT because you do not have the requirement that they want. This is a real life situation. This happened to me. I was interested in IT, but I didn't do well in my Ad Maths. I couldn't do IT. Do I regret? Yes, I can't, I can't have a degree in IT, which I wanted to, but I didn't know when I was in Form 1, Form 2, and Form 3. That's why I'm creating this video to let you guys know earlier on in advance. You want to do IT, you need admits. So that's an example, alright, if you want to do IT. So you decide what is your ambition early, now start deciding. Think, do some research, look at your interests, look at your parents. Do you like what your parents do in their careers? Do you have a role model? Do you look at somebody, an uncle, an auntie, a friend, his or her parents, and you want to be like them? Do some research, ask questions, ask your teachers. What does a CEO do? What does a mechanical engineer do? What does a doctor do? What does it take to be a doctor? What does an accountant do? What does an architect do? What does a quantity surveyor do? What does a businessman do? Ask questions. Think about this now and decide. Decide so that you are able to plan your path, not let other people decide for you. So when you plan your path, if you want to do something related to science or IT, you need to go into the science stream. You need to take Ed Maths, right? 
So you decide from now and this is the reason you need to study hard, you need to study well so that you can get good results for your PT3 so that you have an option of the subjects that you want to study in Form 4. Of course, this depends on the kind of combination that your, your school offers. So be aware of the kinds of subjects that the school offers for each class and target those subjects. In Form 3, study, make sure you get A's. I always tell students, make sure you get A's for science and maths. If you think that you're just in Form 1 and you're in Form 2 and you don't have to make any decisions, you don't have to have an ambition, then you are wrong. When you have an ambition in Form 1 and Form 2, this ambition will guide you to study properly, to study well, to develop yourself academically and also non-academically. When you have good results in Form 3, your options for the subjects that you take in Form 4 and Form 5 will be wider. There will be more options for you. So that is why you need to have good results for Form 3. Alright, if you have learned something from this video and you would like to see more of these kinds of video, please subscribe, click like and if you've got any comments, please type the comments in the comment boxes below. So I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.